Ooh, that's a bit creepy, ladies and gents. That is your view crossing over the glass walkway. It's definitely safe, isn't it? Yes. I'm sure you get asked that 400 times a day. Five layers of very reinforced glass, very, very safe. Okay, my lovely. Oh, that's a nice Irish accent. <laughs> Where about? Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Are you lovely? I'm Kerry. Right, I'm not. I don't know if I can do that. Can people do that? Do you think that's the way to do it? I just need to film for the people, so I'm not going to look down. Oh my God, you guys, I really can't. I'm actually shaking here. In part one of this series, comparing London Bridge and Tower Bridge, we covered London Bridge. We walked through 2,000 years of history from the Roman era river crossing to the amazing medieval bridge and onto the modern underwhelming bridge of today. We'll put a link to that video in the description below in case you haven't yet watched it. In today's video, we are going to explore what in modern times is the standout bridge in London, Tower Bridge a bascule and suspension bridge and a gem of the Victorian era. We will walk through the Tower Bridge Experience, a museum that covers the history of the bridge, meet the people who built and operated it and explain how it has and still does operate. There's a lot to see, so let's get started. Now, um, a bascule and suspension bridge, taken from the bascule, uh, French word meaning seesaw. The towers you see, now it is an iron bridge, however the towers you see were actually built to match the aesthetic of the stunning only castle in London, the Tower of London. Again, another video we have done on the site folks, if you're interested in the history inside the Tower of London, don't forget to check out our stunning Tower of London tour. And I want to see if I can walk between the walkways here, between the two towers. Now it's a glass. <laughs> um, it's a glass bottom so I'm not great with heights but I'm going to do it anyway and don't forget to check out because I made sure that you had a video also of Tower Bridge opening and it is a beautiful site it's a stunning site to behold times gone by in the first year it was open it was open about 4,000 times that year however now it's about 400 times a year so you'd usually catch it and you can always check out the times of the opening of London Bridge uh, of Tower oh my god I'm here at um, Tower Bridge of London you can always check out the times of the opening of Tower Bridge of London online they publicize the times online so you can time your day around that <laughs> So the spectacular view here of Tower Bridge, which is obviously going to be quite busy with tourists today on a Saturday, but the majority of bridges in London here have been uh, managed by the Bridge House Estates of London for nearly 800 years. And I guess the reason that there was only one bridge, Tower Bridge in London for so many years is the Bridge House Estates and the London City Corporation made a massive amount of money on toll fares for crossing the bridge. So the next bridge that was built after London Bridge was Westminster Bridge and that was due in part to uh, Horace Walpole, the Prime Minister at the time insisted that more bridges will be built on the River Thames. But the bridge itself here, Sir Horace Jones in 1884 and Sir John Wolfe Barry, both engineers and architects themselves, won the commission to rebuild the stunning bridge and they're responsible for these amazing gothic towers that were built to match the aesthetic of the tower of london which was built in 1078 so uh and more to replica it and so the color itself the blue white and red you see there is not the original color it was originally a much duller kind of a brownish color but they painted it that color blue white and red in celebration of the silver jubilee of the Queen which took place in 1977 
Now, they also had for the Diamond Jubilee of the Queen, uh, 1,000 flotilla of barges headed up the River Thames here. A stunning spectacle on the day, and a million people lined the River Thames to get a glimpse of Her Majesty on the day. Um, it was a bus, actually. I believe this one, I, I mentioned this in my other uh, Tower uh, Bridge tour, but I think it was the number 51 bus. The Basquilles began to rise one time, and he had a decision to make, and this decision was to either risk falling into the River Thames or take one massive leap and one massive jump. And he did, he revved the engine, he uh, jumped the bridge in his double-decker bus, and he was awarded a medal for bravery. Thankfully, nobody was injured uh, during that horrendous incident, as it were. But the Bridge London Estate, so the tolls that were usually there, but now uh, bridges span the whole way up the River Thames. And that's previously mentioned, it's actually an iron bridge, but I'm gonna try and get into the Tower Bridge experience in just a few minutes. And, take you up these towers and to show you the original colors of the bridge so originally when designing the bridge as well it looks like it's going to rain so we're just in time a traditional fixed bridge could not be built at street level because it would cut off access to ship sailing ships and access to the pool of london which was of course between london bridge and tower bridge we just spoke about it there the pool of london a very busy port in london now, what I'm aiming to do today is get up to those high-level walkways. And then times gone by, they had a reputation as a haunt for prostitutes and pickpockets because they were accessible only by stairs and they weren't regularly used by pedestrians. But in 1974, the original operating mechanism was replaced by a new electro-hydraulic uh, system which was designed by BHA Cromwell House now powered and driven by modern hyd hydraulic motors and gearing I wouldn't be too proficient on my knowledge of engineering but I hope that made sense to somebody so by 1982 where we're headed next the Tower Bridge experience was opened up to the public and it's now become a massive tourist attraction and we can head inside and you'll see why very shortly so it was actually now the bascules in the center were raised by a computer system which was installed to control the raising of the bascules remotely but it did prove unreliable so it resulted in the bridge becoming stuck and closed in several positions in 2005 so they replaced the sensors of that but in 2008 as well it had a four-year-long restoration and a facelift costing four million pounds but now one of the most iconic sites in london so let's head up the stairs get on to one of the more iconic bridges in the world here's Tower Bridge <laughs> I wanted to show you where those traffic lights are and I remember being on the buses years ago and although it's something everybody would love to see the bascules lifting trust me it's not pleasant when you are oh hello 
Look at this coming behind us. <laughs> it's like we're back on the medieval London Bridge, folks. Um, when the traffic lights go red there, when the bascules are lift, it's an amazing spot if you're actually right here and you see the bascules lifting right in front of you. But by God, does it cause a lot of traffic and delays when you are waiting. It doesn't take that long, but they do, for security reasons, lift the bridges a lot sooner. Or, um, the traffic light turns red as security. So you are waiting quite a long time for them. Even though the lift itself doesn't take that long, but you're stuck in traffic. So this is where you're gonna enter. You'll see some of these staff here on either side of the bridge. The girl is in the blue jacket there. We're gonna find out now where we enter in for the Tower Bridge experience. But before we do, let's just have a look at the stunning views here from the bridge and the beautiful, beautiful London. Hard to not absolutely be in awe of this incredible city. Here we go. And right behind us there, that is London Bridge. And I am on Tower Bridge. So you have the gherkin, the cheese grater. You have the walkie-talkie building. And you have the shard, built to resemble a shard of broken glass. This is what we affectionately call the egg slicer building here in London, City Hall. The main office of the Greater London Mayor, City Can. And these are the dream. Look at these over here, folks. I actually looked up these. Look at the penthouses there on top. I think they were going for something like 40 million, I think they were the actual main penthouse there in the middle. I mean, imagine living in them. How stunning your view is. Right, let's make our way to the ticket entrance and see how we're gonna get up. To right up here is where we're headed. To those, there are, Oh, they're not all glass bottom, actually. Just one section of it. I'm sure it'll be quite busy today on a Saturday. But alas, we've got all the time in the world. In February, we are a little bit quieter as guides. And our schedule is a little bit more sparse than it usually is. But I um, fully expect to be welcoming you all if you fancy the Thames Rocket. Look at that one. We bounce up and down the River Thames, they're all waving at us. Very sweet of them. That's a high speed boat up the River Thames. Cold day for it on the river, but uh, refreshing, no doubt, in the summertime. But look at these stunning towers and the glass walkway. Right, we're buying our tickets right over here. I love taking you folks on my first experiences of London too. I mean, you will think that I have a lot of knowledge on London, but trust me, there's a lot I don't know and there's a lot I haven't seen before. So I'd just like to bring you on these first time experiences with me and we'll see how I get on with the glass floors up here because I don't think I'll be too enamored by the height restriction. Oh, there is a bit of a queue, so I'm not gonna um film just as we're waiting but here's the price list for when you go in and that is your adult is £10.60 so it's fairly reasonable to be fair to explore one of the most iconic bridges in the world be sure to check out our blog post on the tower bridge experience where you can learn about discounted tickets the tower bridge experience is included on several tourist attraction discount passes tourist discount passes such as the london pass work by bundling together several tourist attraction entries into one discounted price so if you are planning on purchasing one you'll likely enter for free 
Right, let's see what it's all about. We'll be right back with you. I won't put you through the torture of queuing with me. So just bear with me. So what we've actually done is come out of the elevator here, folks. When you got your ticket, it was a short queue, just got my ticket, and it brought us up right into this beautiful area, and we are right beside the North Tower. So I'm going to get a little bit of information off this lady here about the exhibit that's here. Uh, who are these gentlemen on top, my lovely? So on the far left is Horace There's Horace Jones. He's the architect. And is Barry there? John Barry is here, the engineer on the far right side. And the two chaps in the middle, do you know? So William Arnold. William Arnold. The iron and the steel work. Oh, he provided the iron and steel work. Excellent. And William Armstrong. And William Armstrong. Provided the hydraulics. And provided the hydraulics. Excellent. So this is the construction here, is it? Yes, yes. Oh. Okay, so okay, so these are um, images from 1903, between 1903 and 1907 in London, and these are pretty special, you guys. Look at this. The Bank of England, Hyde Park Corner, most of which we have covered on tours prior to this. Here's the Tower of London, which pretty much stands exactly as it does today, and here are the bascules lifting in black and white. How great is this? Amazing. Oh, there they are. Right where those traffic lights were, where I showed you downstairs. So such an impressive structure. That was uh, perfect timing. So we exited the elevator here. And we're gonna turn left now in just a minute to what is called the North Tower. So that's them lowering. And I have done a video as well on the tower bridge lifts. So make sure to check that one out. But it's a definitely a bit more historic here in black and white. Look at these the traffic, the foot traffic and the horse and cart traffic, even modern day horses we saw today. Tower Bridge Southern Approach. The Royal Exchange. So there's another elevator of people come up now. So I'm just going to let them go through to show you a bit more Piccadilly Circus. And there's a statue of Eros, the Angel of Christian Charity, a flower seller. Is that Covent Garden, I wonder? The Strand, which connects Trafalgar Square with Covent Garden. There's St. Clement Danes Church, the beginning of our City of London tour. And that is London Bridge and Billingsgate Fish Market, which I briefly mentioned earlier on on Lower Thames Street. Here's Embankment Pier. These are great, aren't they? Tower Bridge on the east. Incredible visuals. Right, so let's head through the North Tower here. And we're right up on top of Tower Bridge. Oh, now look at this. So this all awaits you for the bargain price of only £10.60, you get to walk. It's hard to imagine that this area would have been frequented by prostitutes and pickpockets. Let's just have a look here on either side. On top, Presme of Tower Bridge, ladies and gents. So there's a little bit of information there about crowded London. London's population grew rapidly in the 19th century. By the 1870s, one million people lived in the neighboring East End alone. But we know a lot about this because of the, they relied on London because of our um, Magnificent Seven tours, our graveyard tours, keep an eye out for them as well. They relied on London Bridge to cross the river, which took hours. At the same time, ships lined up to the river to bring goods from all over the pool of London. Keeping river and road traffic moving was a serious problem. And there we have our information about London Bridge. Before this bridge was built, London Bridge was used by more than 120,000 pedestrians and 20,000 vehicles every day. So the decision to build a new bridge was built by the Bridge House Estates Committee. 
still runs the five city bridges today and Tower Bridge still does the same vital job of keeping London moving. These are great pictures by the way. So of course the highlight up here is the glass uh, that we can see below us. Walk across the glass. So Tower to the West Walkway and here's all the history of the designing of the new bridge. So we're going to have a little bit of traffic up here because people will be all waiting to get their Instagrams and their selfies and their Snapchats and their, like myself, I guess, YouTubers. And here we are with the glass walkways coming up. And there's Jay Barry and Sir Horace Jones. You'll have heard of Horace Jones from me before as well. He designed Billingsgate Fish Market and the Leadenhall Market that I have done that also on a previous tour. And here's a bit about John Barry. He was an engineer specialised in metal railway bridges. He joined the team and changed the metal arch into a horizontal span. It was possible now to build the horizontal walkways on which you were standing. Started in 1886 and Barry took over when Sir Horace Jones died one year into the works in 1887. His winning design was the Basquille, meaning seesaw in French, which opened in the middle. And everyone liked it, but Queen Victoria thought it would ruin the view of the Tower of London. So the very modern bridge was covered in stone to match the aesthetic of the Tower of London, which we've already discussed already. Okay, so this, ooh, that's a bit creepy, ladies and gents. That is your view crossing over the glass walkway. It's definitely safe, isn't it? Yes. I'm sure you get asked that 400 times a day. Five layers of very reinforced glass, very, very safe. Okay, my lovely. Oh, that's a nice Irish accent. <laughs> Where about? Oh, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> Are you lovely? I'm Kerry. Right, I'm not, I don't know if I can do that. Can people do that? <laughs> do you think that's the way to do it? I just need to film for the people, so I'm not gonna look down. Oh my God, you guys, I really can't. I'm actually shaking here. So I'm just letting you see it and then I don't, I'm just looking up. This is taking me. Ooh, I haven't looked down, I'm looking straight ahead. I hope you can see where we're going. This is actually quite terrifying for me. Yeah, I'm not feeling that folks, I can't. Right, okay, I have to finish it for you. I'm nearly there. I really did not expect that. <laughs> That was terrifying. Oh my God, I can't do that. That's so weird that I can't do that, folks. But I did it for you, so I hope you enjoyed that. But that is terrifying to me. And I'm glad I only did it once. All in the name of my work and job. But there you have the traffic below. Well, I hope I got enough of that for you, for you to experience that because I certainly can't do it again. <gasps> Look at this lady, how brave she is. I couldn't do that. It's amazing. And that are the glass walkways. Of the towers of Tower Bridge. My heart is actually pounding, folks, after that. And I didn't even look down. I couldn't look down. I just had to look forward. As that lovely girl from Belfast instructed me. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't be doing that on those bridges they have in China. You often see these uh, YouTube videos of these bridges that over uh, or going between cliffs in China. I think it's China or Japan or somewhere. I can't remember, but I, I, like I, I get palpitations. That terrified me. Oh, I'm such a wimp. Well, you'll know what my kryptonite is now, ladies and gents, it's heights. Didn't stop me from going in the cable cars at the London Eye though. But for some reason, I was not comfortable there. So this is the construction team of Tower Bridge of London. And shillings and pennies from the 1890s. And his two sons were a team of riveters. For one week, they were paid 11 and nine shillings, almost a thousand pounds. Originally from Scotland, they settled in London after their works were complete. 
So let's see what else they have on offer for us. Some uh, Canary Wharf off in the distance there. But again, refer to our Thames Clipper tour where we headed through the on the River Thames on the boats all the way up from I'm sorry I'm, I'm still kind of shaking <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so distracted that was terrifying but I will do it again for you in a minute because we want to get the views from the other side the South Tower thank you I don't know how I'm going to walk through this, but I'm, we'll manage it again. So this is the South Tower. That was the North Tower. So here we go on the other side. And this is the views I wanted to get of London Bridge because that's what our tour is about today. The difference between London Bridge and Tower Bridge. Okay. There, on top of Tower Bridge, we are there is a 2,000 year old well the bridge that has been standing there for a bridge five second bridges have stood on that side for over 2,000 years the first bridge crossing on the river tents right I'll do one more walkway for you but I'm not going to look down but I'll, I'll let you look down all in the name of YouTube okay take a deep breath now Sinead we can do this I'm not particularly pleased about it but I'm doing it for you folks as soon as the walkway comes clear there we go right so I'm just gonna look forward and see when I can get a window to go through I am not looking down because I can't look down but I hope this is being filmed okay for you guys. I will look after, I can't even look down at the filming part. This little one here. Okay, ladies and gents, I hope you got to see that because I certainly didn't look. <laughs> oh my God. I am brave, but not. Okay, so we can take our picture here. Oh, lovely. There you go. That's a pretty good view now. Let's see if I can get it up there for you. That's it. So continuing on then from South Tower, you walk down into the engine rooms and shops. So remember I was telling you earlier on about the original colour of the bridge, and this is rather the dullish grey brown. It's kind of a weirdy, greeny brown colour that the original bridge was colour. That was the original colour rather. So let's head down here and see what's happening down here. And we're going to head into the engine room. So this is all for the bargain price of £10.60, which is fairly reasonable. And it gives you information everywhere you go. So from 1976, steam engines replaced by electric engines and oil hydraulics. The roof consists of 48 tons of sleigh, 24 black cabs. 55,000 copper nails. Wow. Okay. Here we go. In 1910, the highest recorded number of bridge lifts per day was 64. The weight limit for vehicles was 18 tons and 40,000 people cross the bridge on average every day. That's quite interesting. Hmm, that's a rather curious room there, the quiet, quiet room. I like the sound of that sometimes. 1964, John Haynes left and specs damaged, caused by flying debris. 1941, oh, that must have been suffered as serving as an observation post. Miraculously, only suffered minor damage during World War II. 
Ernest Edwin Rao's head watchman at the time was also an air raid warden. The bridge is closed for inspection, though accidental damage. This is 1967. Three ships is rare. This was the third time the Monta Yurkiole, a banana freighter, hit the bridge in 10 years. Wow. Banana freighter hit the bridge in. <laughs> wow. So the bridge has been repainted several times. The last repaint required 22,000 litres of paint. Isn't that crazy? 1977, the bridge gets a repaint, as I explained to you earlier on, to celebrate Queen Elizabeth's Silver Jubilee. Until that point, the pit bridge was repainted several times in varying shades of chocolate brown, cream and battleship grey during World War II. 1981, oh, this is it, yeah. B.A. Cap, pilot Captain Dick Sadler lowers his stonework crest back into position in preparation for the opening of the Tower Bridge exhibition to the public in 1982. Some of the old stonework was replaced. Okay, so there was a few more steps than I anticipated, so we'll speed them up. And finally, we reach the engine room. Oh, well, I thought it was the engine room. collection of rivets, screws and bolts, etc. from the bridge. Various tools used to for the maintenance of the bridge. Prototype of the glass floor installed in 2014. Here we have the bridge master's full uniform, which is pretty special. Engine room and shop. See engine room? Yes. Okay, very good. Right, finally, we'll make it down. Okay, so this is getting a little confusing, you guys. Nearly there, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. Hi. Thank you. So we're heading to the blue line. That takes us right back out. I thought I'd miss the engine room, I was wondering. But we're here now. Oh, the engine room is this way, you guys. Thank you. So we're following the line, you guys, outside of Tower Bridge. That's going to take us to the engine room. Okay. These interesting little plaques on the ground here, dedicated to people who have worked on Tower Bridge, no doubt. 1911 to 1915, Hannah Griggs was the cook. Edward W. Forrest was a bricklayer and a foreman. And Edward Ruffley, steam crane driver. Henry Sliney, bridge driver engineer. They're kind of cool. So we just follow this blue line, he told me. So this is as new to me. So at least we're experiencing it together, folks. That way we can head straight into the engine room. So I got all confused coming down those steps. I should have taken the elevator down, but I'd know now in future, you'll know yourself. 
that you're not taking the steps to get to the engine room. That engine room you have to access, I'm assuming, at the end of this blue line where I was told to follow it. Let's have a look here. City of London Tower Bridge. So all these people are heading, so I still have my ticket, so I'm assuming you need your ticket, obviously, to... Ah, here we go. This is the engine room and the gift shop for your Tower Bridge experience. And we're down more steps again. Wow. Well, at least I'm not steps up. Mind you, I could do with the exercise after cold, long January. So we're still following the blue line. Okay, so I see where we are now. We've come back out up by the river. So to show you where you are, this is where we turned left down here to go up the steps. So we still have to follow the blue line. Wow, this is interesting. This truly is an adventure. And the blue line goes this way. Ah, here we go. Inside here. So obviously you don't have to pay for this section. I don't think. I'm assuming you have to have your... Oh, yes, you do. So if you have your ticket, I'm a guessing. Ticket holders only. That's right. I have my ticket here. This is how we can enter through. There you go, look. Thank you. Are you taking it? Okay. That's great, love. Thank you. I just got it today. Fantastic. Oh, wow, you guys. Look at this. Do you know, I'm so ashamed to admit I did not even know this existed. Isn't that terrible? So your guy doesn't know everything about London, nor do I claim to in any way, shape or form. My tours are more about you experiencing London with me. And that's how I like you to engage in my tours. Wow, look at this. Now this will be of massive interest to some of you chaps who are interested in 20 tons of coal a week. I'm assuming it was used to power the bascules perhaps. Let's have a look at this. I'm going to have to do a series of bloopers for the amount of times I actually tilt the camera accidentally. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, ladies and gents, look at this stunning piece of machinery. So this is a gentleman powering, I guess this is a manual, wheels that open valves to the reservoir for cooling water. So let's have a look here and see what they're telling us. Steam pump engines. It's pretty impressive. So this is how it works. Now we will get a better view of it down the end in just a moment when we walk around the engine room here. And they give us more of an idea of the stunning, ingenious piece of machinery. I mean, the Victorians, I say it over and over and over again. What an incredible era in British history. There seems to be some sort of logbook, or perhaps a diary even. So this is what's available to you after your Tower Bridge experience. And I cannot deny it is absolutely worth the underpriced ticket, I believe. I think you'll agree with me. Spanners in the works. Of £10.60 per adult. And a great activity for the kids. Show them the ins and outs and the workings of Tower Bridge of London. Look at 
that. Wow. This gentleman sounds like he knows what he's talking about over here. This. Water tank, Nell's boat. George Tapper, Labour, 1936. Folks, I feel like such an underachiever when I see stunning creations like this. Master feats in engineering in their day. I mean, Engineers Galley, this way. Let's head this way. Interesting, here we go. John Gass was a foreman during the building of Tower Bridge. After the bridge was completed, he was given the job of running it. John lived in the bridge master's residence with his wife and five children. The house is still here, a red brick and stone building on the south side of the bridge. He was bridge master for 35 years and retired at the age of 78. Hannah Griggs, we saw her stone plaque on the bridge itself. She was a cook here in London Bridge. Born to a single mother in the East End of London and lived and worked in a house. She started work as a servant when she was 13 or 14. She became a cook and came to Tower Bridge in 1911. Hannah married a train driver and left the bridge when she had a baby in 1915. She was died when she was 58 years old. That, ladies and gents, is the incredible tour of the Tower Bridge of London experience. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as me. I certainly had a great time. Thanks again for joining me, ladies and gents. I hope that's clarified a little bit more for you the difference between London Bridge and Tower Bridge of London. Don't forget to keep sharing and liking the videos, folks. It's amazing. We've almost gone to 47,000 subscribers. I'm absolutely in awe of that. I can't believe that we even got to 4,700, let alone 47,000. But as ever, I'm very grateful to you all. Thank you most sincerely for all the support. It's Sinead here, signing out in the Tower Bridge gift shop in London. Thanks for joining me.